Everyone, and as you can probably tell, it is finally Animal Kingdom Day. I meant to do Animal Kingdom earlier in this trip, and for one reason or another, that changed. So finally, I am heading there today. I'll show you this outfit properly in a minute. I haven't actually worn this one for a while. And today, I'm going to be eating at Tusker House for the first time ever. It's a buffet in the Animal Kingdom. They do breakfast, lunch, and dinner there. And yes, yeah, my first time ever doing it. We're going to meet Daisy and Donald and some other characters. I'm also going to be riding Flight of Passage and some other attractions, going to Rafiki's Planet Watch, so lots of things on the agenda for today. Tomorrow I'm actually going to be staying at Saratoga Springs, so although I still have this hotel room, I had some extra DVC points and I booked just one night over at Disney because I'm doing Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party tomorrow evening. I'm normally there quite late, so I'll then be able to just go back to my resort. And uh, yeah, I can't believe this trip is getting towards the end, I've just got a few days left. It's gone so incredibly quickly, but I will be back here in December for all the Christmas festivities and I'm just excited to be going to Animal Kingdom for the first time this trip. This is the only Disney park I haven't done so far so I'm just going to grab an Uber now and head over there. Probably first of all I might go for the safari depending on the wait time. I'll obviously let you guys know how busy it is, what the wait times are because I have been experiencing very low wait times so far this trip so we'll see if Animal Kingdom is the same. And here is today's outfit. These ears are from Magic Maker Ears. I will link them below and have a discount code for you guys too. This dress is one that I've had for quite a long time now. I believe it was from Boohoo or ASOS. I will link it below if it's still available. Then I have my 50th lounge fly and I have my Converse on today. Okay, I have just been dropped off and I should mention the journey time from endless summer to here. If there's like regular traffic, as in like no bad traffic, that took 21 minutes, that particular journey. And with Animal Kingdom, you get dropped off right at the entrance, which is perfect. Sometimes you do get traffic if you're traveling at peak times in the morning and afternoon. So just be aware of that. It can take a little bit longer than that. And the first thing I'm gonna do when I get inside is probably take some photos. I've probably got about a 15 minute window before I start sweating and not feeling photogenic. So I'll probably do that first. Always oh, nice walking underneath this shady area as you come in. And that's one of the reasons the walking trails are good. The Gorilla Falls Trail especially. Maharaja Jungle Trek hasn't got quite as much shade, I don't think, but they are quite shady. So if you're having a hot day in Animal Kingdom, those are quite good. I think we've got Rafiki and Timon. And I feel like we have some different music here today. I don't believe I've heard this music before walking in. Just come into one of the stores for a second to cool off after having those photos taken and look at this lounge fly. I always love this. You only really see it here. And they have some Encanto items here. And we just heard the exciting news about the reimagining of the Dino Land area, which is going to include Encanto. So I'm very excited to see more about that. And they also have some cocoa things here. This lounge fly is very, very cute. I love that. There she is, Kevin. Let's hope we see her today. And we've got some curtains up in this store, so I'm assuming they're doing some sort of uh, work or refurbishment there. And this Simba t-shirt is very cute. I love the shape of that at the top. And you can get the hat to go with your mini lounge fly bag. It's $24.99. Okay, I've got some pictures and it is super hot standing there taking photos, so I'm gonna take a break from that now. So I'm just gonna go and grab myself a coffee now and make a lightning lane for Flight of Passage for later. And then perhaps go and check out the safari. We'll see, I'll see what the wait time is when I get there. You can look at the app, but quite a few times this trip when I've actually got to the attraction, it's been a different time than what it's said on the app. So I tend to just wander around and see what it is for myself. And they still have a good deal on some of these tumblers. They've got the matte black one, the gold one and the 50th. Those are currently $30. And I do get annual pass discount. I bought the purple one last time I was here, so I'm not in the market for another one, but that is quite a good discount if you also have annual pass. And this is the kind of Starbucks line I like to see. <laughs> Basically no line. It's not normally like this first thing in the morning, that's for sure. Okay, I have my drink, and I actually ended up going for a frappuccino today. Normally, like I say, my first coffee of the morning has to be like hot coffee, but it's that hot today, even I've had to do this. I did get an extra shot of coffee in it though, so hopefully this will still do the trick where the caffeine's concerned, but I needed something cold. 
The heat is absolutely incredible today. I would say this is the hottest it has felt the whole time. And uh, yeah, this is more like what I was experiencing in June, I feel like. So I'm just taking my way around. I keep stopping, keep getting in the air conditioning. That's what I always say as you're going around, just try and like hop in and out of a bit of air conditioning, either in one of the shops, in one of the quick service places, or just in Starbucks like I just did then. Anywhere to just get in and out of it to cool off a little bit when it is this hot. This area is so beautiful with Animal Kingdom. To be honest, it all is. When you're walking around this park, the theming and just how nice everything looks. It's very, very different. There isn't another Animal Kingdom in any of the other Disney resorts throughout the world, which is why I love coming here so much. And I do kind of need to eat something, but I don't want to eat too much because I have my sort of, what is it, Lina? between lunch and dinner later on in Tusca House, which is just here on the left. I know what I want to get, but I'm worried it's going to be a bit messy. I really want to get that corn on the cob that I've seen, which I think you get down here. I might just go for it. Hopefully I don't get in a complete mess. Let's take a quick look in here before I go and find the corn. And they have some of the animals here that you can see on Kilimanjaro Safari, which hopefully we might see shortly when I go over there. And I'm not sure if I've seen this shirt before that says Disney's Animal Kingdom. I'm also not sure what's happened to Donald's selfie there. I quite like that, that's really cute. I like the blue around the outside with the animals on. I feel like Becky would like this. This is a big, sturdy Animal Kingdom mug. Okay, let's see about this corn. I'm pretty sure this is where you get it from the Harambe Fruit Market. And here you can actually see them grilling the corn. Okay, I have the corn. I have the fan going, so I've got some kind of like wind machine situation that's making my hair look like a lion's mane which is uh, pretty appropriate for Animal Kingdom and this is really hot to hold on to they asked if I wanted it with seasoning it just said like African spice and I asked if it was really spicy and she said not so much so I asked for them to just put a little bit on because you saw them there cooking it as you're waiting so they can control how much goes on there so I thought I'd better try it but I asked her to not put too much it's not spicy I wouldn't say it's spicy at all actually and I've got a very low tolerance for spice. If you're looking for a snack that isn't like too heavy and it isn't like fries or anything too sugary or anything like that, this is really really good. I used to like getting this at, I think it was Flower and Garden Festival, they have a corn on the cob, it has like garlic on. But yeah, really good. This is going to become one of my new Animal Kingdom favourite snacks, I know it. Okay, corn consumed, that was really good and I should mention it was 5 29 I believe. So not too expensive, nice for like a little snack, that will be my lunch and then the Tusker House will be my dinner. And now I'm going to head into Kilimanjaro Safari which has a 10 minute wait. So again, very low, that is lower than it has been the last few trips I've done so far this year, so let's head in. And always bear in mind this attraction closes a little bit earlier than the rest of the park. So if you want to do this, don't wait until right at the end of the day. So this is basically a walk on, I wouldn't even say it's 10 minutes. We're just strolling right onto the ride in the middle of the day. Amazing. That way they can come up, get some air, see what's going on, and still keep a very low profile. They can reach over 16 feet in length, fully grown. In the wild, we're around 40 years of captivity of our poison. Hartman's Mountain Zebras. Mom is right here. Baby is right behind the, uh, the termite mound there. And a little spring bug crossing our path. Female giraffe fucking alongside on the right. There's another one back there. So when they're standing around in a group, it's called a Tower of Giraffes. If the group is on the move, then it's a journey of giraffes. Walking across uh, along that back wall, that is a mandrel, the largest of the monkeys. And I mentioned a bachelor group. They're trying to start one here on the reserve. Uh, they're face to face and they're not fighting, so that's pretty cool. Uh, elephants will flap their ears. They have a lot of blood vessels in the ears. You can kind of see them in there. Uh, there's a few of them out here with darker feathers around their head and neck. Those are juveniles. As they get older, they're gonna eat more of the shrimp and they'll develop more of that pink color. And once again, my name's Lewis. I really hope you had a good time on your safari today. Loved that as always. It's always a slightly different experience today. We saw those giraffes like stood up by the tree. There were two of them. That was really impressive to see. I love seeing the giraffes up close. And now I think I'm going to go and check out Rafiki's Planet Watch. I haven't been up there for a while. And when I get back from there, I will see what time it is and decide from there what to do. Just see where the day takes us. Maybe go look for Kevin. And you get a little wildlife express train up to Rafiki's Planet Watch. Bear in mind that that closes at 4.30. That's what it currently is. That can be subject to change depending on park hours, but it closes earlier than the rest of the park. doing the 
animation experience today because you can learn to draw a Disney character and it changes which one you get to draw so on different trips I've done different ones looking at the timings though I don't think the next one is for maybe another 45 minutes um, so I may or may not do that because otherwise I'll be up here for quite a long time if I wait for it to come around and then have to actually do the drawing so I might not do that today but I will show you where that is it's nice and shady through here and it's usually quite quiet so again if you're finding the park is very busy and very hot this is a nice place to come to kind of get away from it all We've got some benches down here so yeah it can just be a good place to come to relax and here are the sketch times for the animation experience that obviously can be subject to change again depending on park hours but I'd imagine it's usually roughly the same inside is the animation experience although I don't think you go in through those doors I think it's down here and you also have the affection section back here where you can see goats and a few other animals I think you can actually pet them I know you used to be able to pre-covid I'm not sure now because I haven't been up here recently I love this they have a warning sign that if you've just been and done your drawing that the goats may eat it so if you have done a drawing make sure you do not let the goats get hold of it and most of them are kind of inside these little roped areas there are a few of them wandering around I think last time I was here there were quite a few just sort of walking around in this area always be careful when you're petting them to not touch their faces they will tell you that on the way in you're very beautiful They have this kind of little climbing frame thing which is really awesome so when they're feeling a bit more active they kind of run around on this go up the ramps down the stairs it's a bit hot for that though today so mostly they are just hanging out and when they're in this roped off area that means they kind of are not in the mood for being petted look at this guy i was talking to a class member and apparently they do love all of this attention <laughs> and it's snack time so they're definitely following the snacks around You're making your way there too, I see you. Oh, and this one not so slowly. He's galloping. And they do have little baskets here with brushes in so that you can brush them too. And as you exit, they have a little place here to wash your hands and it says to make sure you wash them thoroughly after visiting. And this is the animation experience behind these little uh, plants here. You queue up over there. And like I said, the next one I think is around 40 minutes time. So I don't think I'll do it today. But this is what it looks like. So you have those little boards there. And what you're drawing will come up on the screens and there'll also be a cast member there talking you through doing the drawing. It's very specific instructions, so even if you're not that great at drawing, it usually comes out pretty good. They've got a few examples down here. There's Louie. And I can see Bambi over there as well. I think I drew one of the characters from Bugs Life last time I was here. I actually think this is a really cool addition when they started doing this. It didn't used to be here and it's just a really nice place to sit and have a little bit of a break if that's what you're looking for. They also have a behind the scenes section for animal health. So you can see here they've got rooms set up for when the animals need health checks or if they become unwell. Oh my gosh, at 10 they had a naked mole rat abdominal exam. Oh, I love the naked mole rats. So I don't think I could have watched that. And this is a Chinese crocodile lizard. They just stay so still. See, they've got their eyes open, so they must be awake. And we have a crocodile skull. Crocodiles do terrify me, quite rightly. It just goes to show how big they are. You would not want to be anywhere near those jaws. And it actually says here it's going to be Bambi that people are drawing today. So I think I'm going to head back on the train now to the main entrance kind of area where they've got the big store. I love the store here in Animal Kingdom. They have some great merchandise. We went in one of them earlier, but I just want to go in the other one. And that's often where Kevin hangs out. So we may see Kevin. And then by the time I've done all of that, it will be time to go across to Tusken House. Well, that's interesting. I was going to go through that way, which I always do, and it is currently closed off. So I guess we'll have to go back this way. And just to remind you, Tamu Tamu is where you can get your Dole Whip here in Animal Kingdom. And they have a Simba Sunset, which has strawberry kind of sauce in with it. Then they have a pineapple float, the same as you can get over in Magic Kingdom. I'm not sure why this bit is closed off here. Unclear whether they're just doing some general maintenance or something. I don't think there's anything new happening behind there necessarily. And in terms of wait times, we still have 10 minutes there for Kilimanjaro Safari. Flight of Passage is 55. That's not really that high for that attraction. Navi River Journey is 60. That's sort of fairly normal for that one. Everest is 20 minutes. And Flight of Passage has actually just gone down to 35. That is so low for that attraction. These wait times really have been quite low the last week. And this is a great photo spot here for the Tree of Life if anybody's looking 
looking to get some yeah. pictures and if you go down here they normally have a photo pass photographer down there as well to get an even better shot and they do have the shaved ice here at caravan road i'm wondering whether i should try it i've had it before at epcot but never here i have my shaved ice here this is the mango passion fruit that i went for it's a little different to the one in the japan pavilion it feels like harder i think this is going to be a bit more difficult to get into i would just give it a try though to tell you what the taste is like nice and because it's not creamy it's just purely like icy so when it's hot like this perfect snack i love it in epcot as well although this does taste good and it's refreshing i'm not sure i can totally recommend it because it has this huge lump of ice in the top you can't really get underneath the stuff that is a little bit more melted i'm kind of like doing this to try and break it up and it's not really working so it's just not the easiest thing to eat so i don't know it's fine, but there's probably better snacks that you could have to cool down with. I don't remember the one in Epcot being like this, where it has this like really rock solid bit of ice in it. So I don't know, maybe it's just this one that I have. Okay, we're just about to enter roughly what is Kevin territory. So keep an ear out because you can always hear her before you can see her. I didn't see her last time. We can't have two Animal Kingdom trips with no Kevin. That just won't do. just heading into Discovery Trading Company and if you are interested in this range which we saw at Hollywood Studios this is the lounge fly and I'm not sure that these ears are matching because the pattern on the bow although the colors are similar it's not actually the same so I don't know if this is part of the range but it definitely does go together and then they have the spirit jersey wild about Disney and that's what the front looks like that one is $79.99. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure that I've seen this Yeti lounge fly before. <laughs> That's hilarious. How much is that one? I would imagine being furry, it's more, oh, $78. And they always have a lot of the clothing ranges in here. So this store is really, really big. So anything that you've seen the rest of the trip, you may well find it here in terms of clothing. And I do still kind of have my eye on this hoodie. This is very hot weather here at the moment, but for in the winter when I'm at home, I do really like that. And this neon range seems very popular. I've seen quite a few people in the parks wearing items from this range. And they do have this eras range with the Disneyland items. So they have this Walt Disney's Wonderful World of Colour. I actually really like this t-shirt. And they have the biscuit bus in here. I bought that last time. I really like that. And these, if you like bounty bars, these are so delicious. They are the wrong way around though. I am fairly certain that this box is $10.99 and the small packet it's $3.49. I'd be very surprised if that was the other way around. <laughs> I am tempted to get some of these because I love them, but I'll buy them on the way out if I'm going to. And they have the soap dispensers that dispense soap in the shape of a Mickey. And they do actually have a travel advisory on these now to remind you not to put them in your hand luggage because I lost mine that way because they are over 100 mil of liquid. So make sure you put it in your checked luggage if you buy one of these. And those are $8. They are a really neat souvenir and you can get the liquid soap to refill them. So it's kind of a souvenir that just keeps going. Going. and this tumbler is very nice I feel like Catherine would love this I feel like this is her kind of colors that she loves these journals are really nice this is also from the era collection it's a set of three and then that kind of vintage Disneyland vibe I do like the Animal Kingdom airport case and that's $19.99 all done in there and now it's time to head across to Tusca House. I'm not really sure what to expect in terms of the food. I don't actually know what they have there for lunch and dinner. I had originally planned to do breakfast so it will be a surprise. I obviously know I'm going to be meeting characters and I'm excited to show you guys this because I've never ever done it before so it's new to me. And here we are so let's go check in. I've never even been inside here before and a cast member did have a sign back there saying that there are tables available so I'm guessing it's not going to be super busy today. Okay they've managed to get me in straight away so I'm about 30 minutes early. She said it is kind of a slow day today. So hopefully we'll get lots of character visits. I am seated here and it is very quiet in here today as you can see. The characters are roaming around. I think we're going to get to see quite a bit of them considering how many people are in here. Just had a little visit from Mickey who is now doing his exercises. I'm just gonna take you guys up to the buffet to see what everything is like and then I'll come and put my camera back down and then grab some food. But this is what the main buffet room looks like and the theming in here is absolutely amazing. It's so nice being here on such a quiet day because we can see everything properly. So they have salads here. And lots of different vinaigrettes and dressings and stuff. Then they have what looks like a kids section. They have corn and green beans and chicken. 
mashed potatoes, corn dog nuggets, and some mac and cheese. Then they have a chicken curry in the middle and a green shrimp curry and also some rice here and some special mashed potatoes and some braised beef some cauliflower bunny chow and some feisty green beans i wonder what makes these feisty we will find out and then they have some potatoes and rice and stuff back here they have some carved meats they have salmon chicken tandoori sauce some potatoes and some banana bread pudding and they do have some desserts here as well look at these little green butterfly cupcakes they are very very cute and little sunflower ones and they also have some breads here, croissants, look at these, zebra brioche, that looks very impressive. They have some naan bread there as well, and then over here they have some coleslaw and some meats and cheeses and stuff. And to drink I've gone for a hot tea, and this is my food, I've got lots of salad, veggies, I've got some mac and cheese, I tried the um, zebra bread back there, it all smells really really good, very fresh. And Donald is coming back around, and this is cute, on the table there's this little card with all of the characters that we've met today, and their little autographs on the back. That's a really nice little thing you can take with you. I have honestly picked the right day today, as you can see how quiet it is here. <laughs> Your outfit is amazing. I love that. <laughs> you look so beautiful too, Daisy. Perfect. Love that outfit. <laughs> oh, thank you. I've had amazing interaction with all of the characters, got great photos, videos. I think when it's quiet like this, you could just have as much time as you want with the characters. They've already been around two or three times for the most part, and I'm just finishing eating this food, having my cup of tea, so I think you could see them as many times as you wanted today. I can't guarantee it would always be this quiet though. Just grabbed dessert, and I decided to go for this little thing. I think this may be like a key lime tart, and this beautiful little butterfly cake that you saw earlier, and a little bit of fruit. And I will mention, just before I forget, the feisty green beans, they were actually a little feisty. <laughs> they definitely had a kick, they had some kind of like spice to them. But everything I had was really nice, like I said, it looked really fresh, it tasted really good. The mac and cheese was delicious, it was like a really thick mac and cheese, really nice. The mashed potatoes were really good, that had like the onion strings on top, I really enjoyed those. The naan bread and the cheese was really nice. Really enjoyed everything, and if you're vegetarian, or you just prefer not to eat meat like me, there are lots and lots of options that you can have. Oh, Mickey's back. Hey Mickey! Looking good. Oh. I think Goofy's actually at a loose end at this point because it's so quiet here today. Mickey's even rearranging the chairs and the silverware at this point. He's, he's cleaning up. Hey Mickey, where, where is everyone? I don't know, what is, what is happening? <laughs> everyone needs to come here to eat, don't they? Yeah, where is everyone? <laughs> I don't know, what happened? <laughs> So I'm all done there in Tasker House and what an experience that was. I was talking to a cast member in there and actually she watches the vlog so hi Katie it was lovely talking to you and she was actually saying it has been quite quiet recently in the afternoons so between like two and four you may potentially have the same experience that I had there where it was very very quiet. I obviously can't say that that's a typical experience because if you come for breakfast if it's a busy time of year certainly when the dining plan comes back next year I would imagine that would not be the case it would be a lot busier but at the moment if you are coming out in the next few months it might be worth getting a reservation there i saw the characters around seven or eight times each and that is not an exaggeration you could have spent as much time as you wanted with them i got loads of video loads of photos it was totally worth it the cost for that was 59 dollars. i did get annual pass discount on that um, it was completely worth it it was such great character interaction and i just got to spend so much time with them all it was very very quiet i was so surprised how quiet it was and like i say that wouldn't necessarily be a typical experience but that's one of the best character dining experiences i've had so i would highly recommend that and with 
character dining in general, I would say if you or your family or anyone in your group really loves certain characters, character meals are a great way to meet the characters and get some good photos, good video, rather than waiting in line to meet them. It's just a nice relaxed kind of setting to be able to see the characters. So if you love, say, Donald and Daisy, this is a great experience. If you love the Winnie the Pooh characters, you have Crystal Palace over in the Magic Kingdom. So I would say it's well worth it if you do like meeting characters and you want to get to spend some time with them. And now it is time for me to head to Pandora for my return time for Flight of Passage. I love that attraction so much. I can't wait to ride it every trip. It's just up there as my favorite. Now I have to say Guardians is almost there in terms of actual rides, but I think I still would say Flight of Passage. Oh, I think I still would say Flight of Passage is my favorite, just. And if you've never seen the Festival of the Lion King show, I would definitely recommend seeing that. We actually saw it when we were here in June. I will link that vlog below. It's such a great show, very, very well worth a watch. And I'm just taking this walkway to Pandora. There are two different entrances. This one, if you go past the Lion King, is kind of the back entrance, I would say. It's a lot quieter, and you kind of cut off walking through the crowds. Not that it is that crowded anywhere here today. And I love all the sounds. As soon as you enter this area, you know which part of the park you're in. When I'm back in December, I definitely need to come here at night so you can see it all lit up. I haven't done that for a little while and it just looks incredible. And it's always a little busier back here, even if it's been fairly quiet everywhere else. This is a popular place to be in the park. I thought it was down for a second there, but I think maybe we just enter over here instead. Yeah, you just enter over here. It used to be that you come in from the other side. Welcome to the Avatar program. Soon, you're gonna have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're gonna do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. And I'm here to help you guys get ready. But first, we have to scan you for Pandoran microparasites. All right, everyone, stay on your number and move your arms a bit. Okay, start scan. You've all got them. I'm number eight today. There I am. And as you exit this ride, don't forget to check out the Banshee Rookery. And they do kind of move around, which is very cute. They can sit on your shoulder. And they have lots of different colors. Flight of Passage was absolutely incredible as always. I don't know what I was thinking earlier when I said that Guardians might have overtaken number one spot. Flight of Passage is 100% my favorite ride. Guardians is a close second, but it's just incredible. And you do get a different experience depending where you're sitting. There's multiple levels, and obviously the numbers are from one to 16, I think. And I was on number eight on the like ground level today, and it was a really good like perspective of the ride. It does change slightly, like say where you're sitting. Sometimes you don't get as much of the water effect, which I didn't today, but the actual perspective of how everything looked is amazing, and it's just such an incredible ride. It's a must-do for me every single trip when I come to Animal Kingdom. That is just something I have to do every single time. The standby is 55 minutes currently, which really isn't that bad for this attraction, but I wanted to be able to do it quickly today if possible. I'm aware that my hair is a little bit wild after riding Flight of Passage. You do get a bit windswept in there. And I think I'm going to head out now because I've done everything on my plan of action today. So I'm going to head back to the hotel. I don't want to get back too late this evening because tomorrow I'm heading to Saratoga Springs to stay the night because I have Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party. So I just need to get some stuff together to take with me. And in the morning, I also have a virtual press reveal of the Disneyland Hotel at Disneyland Paris, which is going to be 5 a.m. my time. So I am going to wake up to watch that. It's been under refurbishment for a long time. So I want to see what's going on with that. And once I've done that, I'll get coffee and head across to Saratoga Springs and to the Magic Kingdom. And then in the evening, Halloween party. So I want to make sure I get back so that I can get myself organized this evening. Navi River Journey currently has a 40 minute wait. That is very low for this ride. It's usually 60 minutes or more. It can be more than flight of passage, this one at times. So it is good to get it when it's this low. 
So it's goodbye for now to Animal Kingdom. I will be back in December in just a few months, so not very long to wait. And hopefully then they will have, I always forget exactly what it's called, the animal menagerie, the puppets that they have at Christmas time. I love that, so I'm very excited to come back for that in December. Okay, I'm in some very bad lighting here. I've got my dinner I got from Uber Eats. I didn't go for anything too much because I ate at Tusker House earlier, so I got a salad and a loaded baked potato. I think I need to construct the loaded baked potato. The stuff is in here. So I'm just gonna have that now. Just watch something, relax for a bit, and then I need to get myself ready for tomorrow. Look at this storm that is happening. Wow. Don't often get to see this back home, not to this degree anyway. So I thought I'd just finish up this vlog while that storm rages outside. That is a big, big storm that we're having right now. I didn't know it was actually gonna rain this evening and I was thinking to myself, gosh, I hope there's not like a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party tonight and people are in the parks and it's like this. That would be so crazy because it's been going on for a while. As you saw, I grabbed dinner quickly just from Uber Eats. I got changed as well out of the dress I was in for Animal Kingdom today. I really enjoyed my day in Animal Kingdom. It was so nice to go to Tusker House and try something different and what an experience I had with it being so quiet. I got so much time with the characters honestly they just went around and around oh my gosh did you hear that maybe this actually would be appropriate for a halloween night because it sounds very scary out there yes as i was saying tusker house was so good and i'm not saying that would be your typical experience there because it was super quiet as you saw sometimes it is a lot busier but i still think the experience was great i loved meeting the characters it was really really good fun it was also nice to go up to rafiki's planet watch i haven't done that for a little bit so i really enjoyed it and it's the first time i've been to animal kingdom this trip which is crazy so now i'm just going to get myself ready for bed like i was saying earlier i've got a very early wake up call thankfully i don't actually need to get out of bed i just need to tune in to this announcement about the disneyland hotel in paris i just want to see what's been going on with it what the refurbishment looks like i've heard lots about it and i'm really excited to see it so i'll probably put something up on my stories and let you guys know in the vlog what's going to be going on with that so i'm going to watch that then i can get myself ready and head over to saratoga springs drop my stuff off and then head over to disney springs for a lunch at city works and that's a new restaurant for me as well i've never tried that and then i will be heading across to the magic kingdom i'm going to do my wandering q a tomorrow i've been doing that each trip just once each trip in a different park each time answering your questions and i always put out the um, request for questions over on instagram so i'll do that in the morning as well and then in the evening it's the halloween party so big day tomorrow lots going on i just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who came up to say hello today i met loads of you guys i have every day of this trip i've met so many of you and it's been lovely having a chat with you all hearing all about your trip if you did enjoy this vlog please do give it a thumbs up that helps other people to find it and thank you to all of you for taking the time out of your day to watch this vlog i really do appreciate it and everything that you do to support my channel watching the videos liking them subscribing supporting over on patreon Patreon, liking and commenting on Instagram. I really appreciate all of it so much and I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you in the next one, which will be Magic Kingdom. Bye. Okay, here we are at City Works. I'm a little bit early, but I'm gonna see if I can go in now.